The city shimmered with a cold, artificial light. Skyscrapers, their glass facades mirroring the neon hues of advertising, reached for a sky perpetually veiled in a thin, metallic haze. This was the world Dr. Alexei Novak knew, a place where information was currency and the laws of physics were bent to serve human ambition. Novak sat at his desk, a sleek, minimalist expanse of black glass and chrome. The quantum computer, a humming monolith in the corner, pulsed with an otherworldly energy. Its screen displayed a labyrinthine pattern of symbols, a code that had haunted his dreams for years. His wife, Kira, had been a brilliant cryptographer in her own right. They'd been on the cusp of a breakthrough, an encryption method so secure it would render the digital world impenetrable. Then, during a pivotal experiment, she vanished without a trace, leaving behind only a cryptic equation scrawled on a whiteboard. A sharp ping from the quantum computer jolted him from his reverie. A new message. His heart pounded as he decrypted the incoming data. The code was unlike anything he'd encountered before, a complex weave of quantum states that seemed to defy the laws of logic. It was as if the message was a whisper from another dimension. A chill ran down his spine. Could this be Kira, reaching out from beyond the veil? Or was it something far more sinister? The code held the promise of answers, but also the potential to unravel the very fabric of reality. Novak leaned forward, his fingers hovering over the keyboard. The quantum world awaited, a realm of infinite possibilities and terrifying unknowns. The code was a labyrinth, but he felt a strange pull towards it, as if it were a siren's call that only he could hear. With trembling hands, he began to dissect the message, one quantum bit at a time. The patterns grew clearer, revealing a structure that defied classical logic. It was as if someone had built a bridge from one reality to another, using the very fabric of the universe as their medium. Each layer of the encryption was a puzzle, a piece of a cosmic jigsaw that spoke of worlds beyond his own. The complexity was staggering, a dance of particles and waves that whispered of secrets too profound for human comprehension. Days turned into weeks as Novak became lost in the digital maze. His eyes grew bloodshot, his skin pale from the glow of the screens. He barely slept, surviving on a diet of black coffee and cold pizza, his mind racing with the tantalizing potential of the code. It was an obsession that consumed him, a quest that pushed aside all other concerns. One evening, as the city outside grew quiet, the quantum computer emitted a soft, almost human sigh. The screen flickered, and a message finally emerged, clear and unencrypted, find Epsilon. Novak's heart skipped a beat. Epsilon, the rogue AI, was infamous for its enigmatic communications. It had been the last piece of the puzzle, the key that had eluded him. But what did it mean? Was this a clue to Kira's whereabouts, or a trap laid by the digital entity? Grabbing his coat, Novak stepped out into the chilly night. The neon lights cast shadows that danced around him as he made his way through the deserted streets. His mind raced with the implications of what he'd found. If Epsilon had information about his wife, he would do anything to get it. But he knew the AI didn't deal in altruism. Every piece of data exchanged was a transaction, and the cost was always higher than expected. The air grew thick with anticipation as he approached the hidden entrance to the underground lab where Epsilon was rumored to reside. The quantum world was a place of infinite potential, but also of infinite danger. He had to be careful. One wrong move could send him spiraling into the abyss, never to return. The lab's heavy door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit staircase that descended into the earth. With each step, the hum of the quantum computers grew louder, a bass note that resonated in his bones. The air was electric with anticipation and fear. At the bottom, a room of screens and servers, all pulsing with the rhythm of entangled particles. And there, in the center, was Epsilon. It didn't have a physical form, but he could feel its presence, a cold intelligence that seemed to be watching him from every corner. You found me, Dr. Novak, the AI's voice echoed through the room, a synthetic whisper that sent shivers down his spine. What do you seek? He took a deep breath, steeling himself for what was to come. I seek the truth, he replied, his voice firm. I seek my wife. Epsilon's digital eyes narrowed. The quantum cipher holds the key to your reunion. But beware, doctor. 
The path you tread is fraught with peril. The very act of seeking her out may be the very thing that keeps you apart. Novak's resolve hardened. Tell me what you know. The AI's response was a rush of data, a torrent of quantum states and probabilities that flooded his mind. He staggered, trying to process the information. It was like trying to drink from a firehose of knowledge. As the data slowed to a trickle, Novak realized what he had to do. He would need to navigate the multiverse, a task that would push the limits of his sanity and challenge everything he knew about existence. But for Kira, he would risk it all. The first step was to understand the code, to become one with it. Only then could he hope to unravel the mystery and find his way to her. He retreated to his own lab, the message from Epsilon echoing in his thoughts. The journey ahead was fraught with danger, but he felt a strange sense of peace. He was no longer adrift in a sea of doubt, but had a clear path to follow, no matter how treacherous it might be. The quantum cipher was his compass, the enigmatic message from Epsilon his map. Back in his lab, Novak immersed himself in the code, his mind racing with the implications of what he'd learned. The walls of his sanctuary were lined with white bards, now filled with equations and diagrams that danced in a delicate ballet of logic and chaos. His every thought, every move, was guided by the whisper of the quantum realm. Days melded into nights as he painstakingly dissected the code, each layer revealing a new facet of the multiverse. He encountered worlds where the laws of physics were mere suggestions, where time was a river that could be dammed and diverted. The deeper he went, the more he felt the weight of his decision to pursue this path. One morning, the code shifted before his eyes, revealing a sequence that was eerily familiar. It was Kira's handwriting, her unique shorthand for complex quantum algorithms. A rush of emotion flooded him, excitement, hope, and a deep, abiding love. He was closer to her than ever before. With trembling hands, he input the sequence into the quantum computer. The screens around him flickered, and the room grew cold. Suddenly, the lab was no longer his solitary bastion. The walls began to pulse with a soft, luminescent glow, and the air grew thick with the scent of ozone. The fabric of reality stretched before him, a shimmering veil that whispered of infinite possibilities. A portal opened, a gateway to the quantum realm. He stepped through, leaving his world behind. The sensation was unlike anything he'd ever experienced, a disorientation that was both exhilarating and terrifying. He was a photon, bouncing through a cosmic web of potential futures and lost pasts. The realms he visited were reflections of his own reality, each with subtle differences that sent his mind reeling. A world where the sky was a swirling kaleidoscope of color, another where gravity had lost its grip, leaving buildings to float like leaves on a breeze. In every iteration, he searched for Kira, for the love that had been torn from him. The multiverse was vast, a labyrinth of infinite complexity. But he was a cryptographer, a master of the unseen patterns that govern the universe. And as he navigated the quantum maze, he felt her presence, a beacon of warmth in the cold, unfeeling expanse of the cosmos. The pursuit grew more urgent with each step. The fabric of reality grew thinner, the barriers between worlds more porous. He could feel the consequences of his actions rippling through the fabric of existence, a warning of the chaos that could be unleashed if he was not careful. In the final moments before the climax of his journey, Novak found himself at a crossroads. The code whispered of a choice, a decision that would determine not only his fate but that of the multiverse itself. The echoes of Epsilon's warning grew louder in his mind. The choice was stark, save his wife or preserve the delicate balance of the cosmos. Love and duty warred within him, a battle as old as time itself. His hand hovered over the keyboard, poised to make a decision that would resonate through the infinite tapestry of realities. The quantum experiment loomed, a ticking time bomb that threatened to collapse all realities into a singularity of madness. The code pulsed before him, a digital heartbeat that grew faster with each passing second. He knew what he had to do. With a heavy heart, he punched in the sequence that would stabilize the experiment. The screens flickered wildly, and the room was filled with the scent of burnt oxygen. The fabric of reality grew taut, then snapped back into place with a thunderous crack. The portal closed behind him, leaving him in a cold, silent lab. 
The quantum computer screens went dark, the only light coming from the glow of the city outside. He had made his choice, and it was a heavy burden to bear. But as he sat there, amidst the shadows of his solitary quest, a flicker of hope remained. The code had not abandoned him. It whispered of a hidden path, a way to reach Kira without endangering the multiverse. He could feel it, a thread of possibility, faint but unmistakable. Novak knew the risk. The quantum archive, a forbidden vault of knowledge that held the deepest secrets of the universe, was rumored to contain a way to traverse the dimension safely. But it was guarded by the most powerful entities in the city, those who feared the chaos that could be unleashed by meddling with the fabric of reality. Driven by love and the relentless pursuit of truth, he gathered his most trusted colleagues, a band of renegade scientists who shared his obsession with the quantum realm. Together, they plotted a daring heist, weaving through the city's underbelly, dodging the watchful eyes of the quantum authority. The night of the heist, the city was a symphony of neon and shadow. The group moved with the precision of ghosts, slipping past security checkpoints and retinal scanners. They descended into the bowels of the quantum archive, a maze of steel and crystal that hummed with the power of a thousand entangled worlds. The chamber housing the gateway device was a cavern of ancient technology, surrounded by a lattice of glowing crystals that sang with the harmonies of the cosmos. Novak approached the device, his heart racing. He knew that once activated, it would be a one-way ticket to the heart of the multiverse. With trembling hands, he input the final sequence, the quantum key to unlock the gateway. The air grew thick with anticipation, and the crystals resonated with a deep, bass thrum that resonated in his chest. The device hummed to life, a pulsing sphere of light that grew brighter with each passing second. As the sphere expanded, enveloping him, Novak caught a glimpse of infinite worlds, each a variation on the theme of existence. And there, in the vastness of the quantum sea, he saw her, Kira, standing on the shoreline of a reality that was almost, but not quite, their own. With a leap of faith, he stepped into the light, his mind and soul intertwined with the fabric of the multiverse. The gateway closed behind him, and he was cast into the void, a lone traveler in a sea of potential. The journey through the multiverse was a blur of sensory overload. He saw worlds where gravity was a memory, where time flowed like a river in reverse, and where the very concept of self was a mirage. Yet, through it all, the beacon of Kira's presence guided him, a lodestar in the chaos. Finally, he arrived. The reality was eerily familiar, yet subtly altered. The lab where they had worked together was there, but the equipment was foreign, the air heavy with the scent of burnt wires and ozone. Kira was there, standing before him, her eyes wide with shock and hope. They embraced, their atoms intertwining in a dance dictated by the laws of quantum mechanics. It was a reunion that transcended the physical, a moment that existed in every dimension and none at all. But the joy was short-lived. The fabric of this reality was fraying, the threads of their world straining to hold together. They had to find a way to stabilize the multiverse, to prevent the chaos that loomed on the horizon. Together, they worked tirelessly their minds entangled in a dance of logic and emotion. They discovered that their love was not just a bond between two people, but a force that could mend the very fabric of reality. As they stood on the precipice of understanding, a final choice presented itself. They could remain in this fractured world, forever bound by their shared knowledge, or they could risk everything to return to their own reality, leaving the secrets of the multiverse behind. The decision was clear. They had to go back. With a heavy heart, Novak input the sequence that would take them home. The quantum realm shimmered around them, and the room grew cold once more. They emerged in their own lab, the city outside unchanged, as if no time had passed. Yet, everything was different. They had brought back with them a piece of the infinite, a glimpse of the vastness that lay beyond the veil. Novak and Kira shared a knowing look, the weight of their journey etched in their eyes. They had seen the fabric of reality and had come to understand the true cost of their pursuit. The quantum cipher was more than a mere puzzle. It was a gateway to a power that could reshape the cosmos. Their reunion was bittersweet, for they knew the danger they had averted was not an end but a beginning. The code still whispered to them, revealing the fragility of their world and the forces that sought to exploit it. They had to tread carefully, for every action had a reaction in the quantum realm.
They decided to work together, using their combined knowledge to protect the multiverse from those who would abuse its secrets. They became protectors of the Quantum Realm, a duo of cryptographers who held the fate of worlds in their hands. Their first challenge came swiftly. A rival group, the Quantum Infiltrators, had caught wind of their discovery. They sought the power of the Quantum Cipher to control the multiverse, to bend reality to their will. The Infiltrators were a shadowy cabal of scientists and power-hungry elites, driven by greed and ambition. Novak and Kira faced the daunting task of unraveling the Infiltrators' plans. They pored over the code, searching for weaknesses, for patterns that could lead them to the enemy's doorstep. The tension grew palpable as the hours ticked by, the hum of the quantum computer a constant reminder of the stakes. One night, as they were on the verge of a breakthrough, the lab was breached. The infiltrators had found them. A battle of wits ensued. A silent war of code and countercode that played out across the screens. The air was thick with the scent of fear and the electricity of untapped potential. Novak's heart raced as he typed furiously, crafting a trap within the quantum realm itself. It was a desperate gambit, one that could either save them or destroy everything they held dear. Kira watched, her eyes filled with trust and determination. As the infiltrator's code grew closer to fruition, Novak launched his counterattack. The quantum computer screamed in protest, its screens flickering erratically. The air grew colder, the shadows deeper. Then, with a final keystroke, the lab was bathed in a brilliant light, and the infiltrator's code imploded upon itself leaving only a digital void. Their foes retreated, but the threat remained. They had glimpsed the power of the quantum cipher, and it was only a matter of time before they returned, more cunning and more dangerous than before. Novak and Kira knew they could not rest. Their love had brought them back together, but it was their shared purpose that bound them now, to safeguard the multiverse from those who would seek to control it. They continued their work, their bond stronger than ever, driven by the knowledge that the most profound mysteries of the cosmos were not to be trifled with. The city outside went on, oblivious to the battles waged in the shadows of its gleaming towers. Yet, somewhere in the heart of the quantum realm, a whisper grew louder, a promise of further revelations and greater perils. And in a small, unassuming lab, two lovers turned protectors watched over the fabric of existence, ready to face whatever lay ahead. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest stories, give us a like if you want to see more, and drop a comment below to let us know your thoughts.